Hey guys, it's Ryan back. I'm here to continue my Survivor Series review series. And I'm here to review the second to last Survivor Series show to review up to this point, which I actually own on DVD Survivor Series 2013. So, Survivor Series 2013, I'm gonna be honest, I thought this show was crap. Honestly, this, this show was really crap. It started off really fun, and then it just went down the crap out really after that. The crowd just didn't care after the first half of the show. They're like, oh, cool. You know, like that. But, uh, you know, you did have some good stuff. It's not just, it's not without its positives, you know? So, uh, you know, there is some good stuff on the show, but there's also a lot of crap. But anyway, I'll get on to reviewing the show for you guys. Um, opening match we have. The 5 on 5 traditional Survivor Series Elimination Tag Match. Uh, Rey Mysterio, The Usos, Cody Rhodes, and Goldust versus The Shield and The Real Americans. Match of the night by far. Honestly, this match was really, really good. Um, uh, it started off a little slow, but uh, it got really fun Like as it went along. Like... Uh, like at the start, you had Dean Ambrose getting eliminated pretty much straight away after, I think, uh, one of the Osos uh, rolled him up, you know? Yep. And the face team was pretty much dominating the entire thing throughout, you know? And then, um, in the end, it, it did some, it kind of reminded me of Survivor Series 2003 a bit with Shawn Michaels. You know, you had Roman Reigns uh, ended up facing Goldust and Mysterio by himself. And so that was really cool, you know. And, uh, oh. yeah, you had that really cool part where uh, uh, Cesaro was um, doing the swings, to the, the giant swing thing to both Uso brothers. That was pretty funny and cool. You know, and uh, and that was really funny. I thought when um, what's his name, uh, Roman Reigns, um, kind of, kind of um, grabbed Rey Mysterio and just like tossed him out the ring. That was funny in my opinion. Yeah, you know, just hearing Roman's voice said, ah. you know, that was funny. I thought, and um, it had a. Uh, you know, this is just, it was just really good, okay, just a really, really fun, um, Survivor Series Dimension match, and, uh, one that I really enjoy, you know, and, um, yeah, and like I said, it ended up being, uh, Roman Reigns versus, uh, Rey Mysterio and Goldust, um, yeah, at the end, Roman Reigns beat them both after hitting Spears, so that was, Really cool ending. I actually thought Roman might lose, you know. So, yep. So, yeah. the, the heel team wins. Your, your sole survivor, Roman Reigns. So, yeah. Really good match. Match of the night. Definitely. Yep. Next match, we have the Intercontinental Championship match. Uh, Biggie Langston defending against Curtis Axel. This was, uh, this was not bad. Uh, it was... Pretty much a typical TV quality match, but um, but I still enjoyed it for what it was, and it was about six minutes long, you know, and like he had some really cool spots. I think uh, when Biggie Langston was on the outside, I think Curtis Axel kind of kicked him, or like kind of flew outside the ring. That was pretty cool, uh, and he had some big dominant moves by, of course, Biggie Langston. That was cool too as well, and. Um, and uh, you had a uh, Curse Axel uh, lose, yeah. Uh, after Biggie, Biggie uh, did the big ending on him, so that was cool. And Biggie Langston had a pretty cool theme song. I have no idea what the dude and singing his song was saying, but yeah. So yeah, so that was fine, fine match. So yeah. Next we have the next we have the seven on seven traditional Survivor Series Elimination match, Team Total Divas, consisting of Natalia, 
Bella Twins, Funkadactyls, Jojo, and Eva Marie versus Team True Divas, consisting of AJ Lee, Tamina Snuka, Caitlyn, Alicia Fox, Rose Mendes, Oksana, and Summer Rae. This match, I have no idea what to think of this match, guys. It was, it wasn't really a match. It was just entertainment, basically. You had uh, that funny part where uh, Brie and uh, Summer Rae were having a dance off. That was pretty funny, and um, you know this match was pretty much just them like pinning each other as fast as possible. You know, like they they would only do like two, like one or two moves, not even that big, and then the a diva is eliminated pretty much straight away. You know, uh, except for when it got near the end. You know, you had uh, yeah, Natalia uh, uh, pretty much single-handedly beat Tamina and AJ Lee. Yeah, you had Tamina uh, tap out to the sharpshooter uh, uh, after. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tamina tapped out to the sharpshooter. And just when AJ Lee uh, tried to attack Natalia to uh, get her to let go, but she was too late, of course. Then Natalia did the sharpshooter on AJ Lee. She tapped out. Your winners are uh, Team Total Divas. Uh, survivors, Natalia and Nikki Bell. So, yeah. That was fun entertainment. I really... I'm not going to give it a rating, though. Uh, it's just... Yeah. Alright, next match we have Ryback coming out. And he's like calling out to the kickoff people, uh, consisting of uh, Josh Matthews, Booker T, McFoley, and Brett the Hitman Hart saying, You old timers, you, you suck. It's about us now, or something like that. You know, I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, and then Ryback uh, finished doing that. Then he got the microphone saying, uh, Anyone wants to challenge me, come on up. And that ended up in. The challenger ended up being none other than the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. And, uh, you know, this match was pretty boring, honestly. I mean, it, it got kind of cool near the end when, uh, when, uh, Mark Henry did, like, a springboard type move, you know. And then he got the world's strongest slam for the win. It was cool seeing that, you know. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty boring at first, but it got kind of good near the end, so, yeah. Alright, so is that match. Then we've got the next match, which is the match that disappointed me the most, honestly. The World Heavyweight Championship match, John Cena defending Alberto Del Rio. This match was a huge ass disappointment, guys. Del Rio and Cena, both great wrestlers, they both have great matches, but dang. Just dang, guys. I mean, this match was really slow, you know, it was. It was like one of the longest matches on the card, and it was really slow. They didn't even do much to each other, you know. Um, but it had some good counters every now and then, every blue moon, basically. And, uh, you know, I liked how you had uh, Del Rio's twin crossing Mexican flags, like little flags on each ring post. I thought that was a nice decoration, you know. And, uh,. Of course, Cena got the win, my boy Cena, after hitting the attitude adjustment, pinning him one, two, three. So that was a good, it was a, it was an alright match, but it was pretty disappointing overall, like I said, it was really slow, you know, but uh, there were some good counters, and it definitely wasn't a bad match by any means, you know, uh, but yeah. Alright, next match we have uh, CM Punk and Daniel Bryan versus Luke Harper and Eric Rowan with Bray Wyatt. This match was pretty good. I was a little disappointed, but uh, it had a lot of really cool stuff about it. I mean, you had, uh, yeah, it started off really slow, then it really picked up, you know, uh, like after Bryan and Punk were just tagging each other. Like non-stop basically and ganging up on I think Luke Harper. Ah, but uh, yep, and especially this one time Brian got tagged in. You know he was pretty much like beating the crap out of the White family. You know and just doing a whole bunch of cool like flying stuff. 
and pretty much dominating throughout the whole thing. So yeah. And uh Yep, CM Punk uh got tacked back in, does the GTS onto Luke Harper, pins him one, two, three, your winners, CM Punk and Daniel motherfucking Brian. So yeah. Good match. It's not phenomenal though, but it was good. Next we have the main event, WWE Championship match, Randy Orton defending against the Big Show. This match was crap, guys. Okay. I'm gonna say the second worst Survivor Series main event ever. And the first being uh, Goldberg vs. Triple H from 2003. You know. Yeah, this match was really sloppy. A lot of botches, you know. It was just weird, but it was kind of funny at the same time, I thought. Yeah, I did have... <laughs> I was kind of laughing throughout the match. You know, you had... Uh, and, of course, near the end, where uh, the Authority came out. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, before this pay-per-view started, uh, the Authority came out saying uh, uh, there will be no physical interference in these matches. You know, And there wasn't. But they did come out to distract Big Show. And uh, Randy Orton RKO'd Big Show to get the win. Pinned him 1-2-3 after he was distracted by the Authorities. So, yeah. Yep, so Orton retains, and um, John Cena's music hits, he comes out to the ring, and Orton and Cena hold their titles up high, you know, and people thought this meant Randy Orton versus John Cena in the main event of WrestleMania 30, which I honestly wouldn't have minded, you know, I wouldn't mind Cena versus Orton in the main event of WrestleMania at all, I, I think that'd be an awesome match, honestly, but uh, a lot of people didn't like it. But, uh, whatever, you know, it was still a cool moment, I thought. Then they had an awesome TLC match the following month, but that's another story for another day. So, yeah. So, so overall, this was a pretty crap pick of you guys. Uh, it wasn't horrendous, of course, you know. It did have its positives. But, uh, I think we can all agree that this was the worst Survivor Series since 2006. Definitely. So yeah, so that's my review guys, I hope you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and it's raining blood, and I'll see you for my review of 2014, uh, so, see you.